thing. Mm-hmm. It is time I introduce you to a a magical hidden gem of the '90s. Ooh, this music. I'm yeah, we're gonna be doing a, we're gonna be doing a let's play of Dark Seed, a very forgotten adventure game. Uh, from the early 90s. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? <laughs> the images, they just transitioned. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they did. Wait. So, this is a game made by a, a short-lived company from the 90s known as Cyber Dreams, um, who maybe flew a little too close to the sun in some ways. Um, were... Definitely made a splash. They're probably best known for making Ace Hard Geiger. Oh. Yes, and and Paul Ryan. <laughs> oh. No. oh god. Um, they so yeah, they're just gonna start <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <Yeah. Ooh. laughs> <laughs> so a horrifying nightmare my like boss oh god what so, so um <laughs> yeah this game's a lot um, so cyber dreams was a short-lived company that it was probably best known for making i have no mouth and i must scream uh, a video game adaptation of harlan ellison's nightmare. um it even left me with a novel or headache. short story of the same name um and that was kind of cyber dreams's big thing like they would partner with really well respected creators and um, auteurs from other entertainment like fields or like creative mediums and try to make games around like their stuff unfortunately they weren't very good at actually making the game part um i'm still trying to figure out what the fuck that thing in the right by the like these nightmares like in the upper right corner of the room there i don't know what the fuck that alien bong thing is yeah like, yeah alien bong Oh um, god. Yeah, so, there's oh, there's so much going on here. Oh god, everything's going so fast. <laughs> what? Oh, is... So, we have to go fast. We are on a time limit. We have an alien embryo in our head. Um, and that little man is going to pop out in 3 days time. And the game the game tracks time in real time. So, we got to be kind of fast. Oh. Um, oh. That's a also little horrifying. You... You will keep getting text uh, notifications in the bottom saying your head hurts unless every morning when you wake up, you have three days to complete this game, like in-game days. Um, every morning you have to wake up and shower and take some ibuprofen. <laughs> Realistic, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we're playing as Mike Dawson, who is actually one of the primary designers of this game. Um, we're playing as a self-insert. Um, uh -huh. Uh-huh. After this, he decided that he was done making video games and then wrote some books on programming, uh, wrote for TV sitcoms such as Family Matters, uh, and then now teaches game design at both Stanford University and UCLA. Ah, uh, I see. Damn. This game's kind of bullshit. We have to investigate this trench coat twice to find that it has something in its pocket. Oh, God. There's a lot to this game that you're supposed to play this game over and over again until you figure out what you're supposed to do. Like, it's just a, like, trial and error type thing. It's... Yeah. Yeah, a classic. Oh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, yes. Uh, overdue. But very overdue. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Um... There is some more lore about the character of Mike Dawson in the instruction manual. Apparently, he was one of three people that was the head of an ad agency. And he decided, fuck this, I'm tired of being a successful ad agent person. Um, I'm gonna go become a novelist. Oh, I saw an ad in the, my local newspaper for an old Victorian-era house that's for sale. Uh, for really dirt cheap in the California. So then he flew his prop plane over and decided to buy the house without even seeing it first. Is Okay, wait, we're talking about the fictional Mike Dawson, yes. not the real one? Yes, okay. yes we're talking like... about the fictional. <laughs> it's so hard to tell. <laughs> the premise of this game is we just bought this house without, like, any foresight. Also, there's a creepy, like, there's just a creepy pyramid eye, like, Illuminati thing above the front door. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm sure that this will place be a is just rug. this place is just in shambles. Um, yeah, 
I would have been pissed if I bought this thing. Yeah, I, I think there's definitely These some ghosts in here somewhere. Something's it. going on, definitely. Kind of but yeah, as you pointed out in the opening credits too, this game's claim to fame, uh, they asked HR... Oh, there's the doorbell. Uh, but they asked oh. HR <laughs> Geiger... They asked HR Geiger if they could use his art uh, for the basis of this game, and the, uh, he agreed, as long as it was in good resolution for the time. So now we get beautiful uh, works of art like this. Oh god. Oh, staring into my soul. Wait for it. <laughs> oh, the suspense. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I get what they were trying to go for there, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> um... Uh. <laughs> for a while, this game was heralded as one of the scariest point-and-click adventure games of its era, and then kind of when the YouTube era came around, people revisited this, and, like... Um, I first found it through the uh, Retsu Prey channel back in the day, yeah. uh, d doing a playthrough uh -huh. of this and its sequel, which were hilarious back, back then. Um, and, like, just, uh, like... Ever since, people have, like, kind of relitigated this game, and it's like, oh, this is actually pretty poorly made and really goofy. Um, the art the art is pretty nice for the time, though. Like, they did a good yeah. job bringing over HR. Uh, uh, I always want to say Geiger, but it's Giger. Uh, like the counter, I believe. These old science books date back a yeah. long way. No, I, <laughs> I also made that mistake. Yeah. Um, so now that we looked at the blueprint, we know the that there's a hidden Apollo, secret yeah. passage in our house. <laughs> Very normal. Very normal. Um, also, you're gonna notice that our main character is very chatty. And dark and damp. Yeah! Um, yeah, I was gonna mention, like, lots lots of that sweet voice acting. That was added in the later versions of this game. And, um... A lot of people have stated that the older versions of the game were actually a lot more horrifying because, I mean, there was no dorky voice acting. So, like, it was just kinda all in your yeah. head and the, the game relied more on its visuals. Um, mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. just kind of have this weirdo just talking over everything, and it's just... It's okay, yeah. but is it Mike Dawson voicing Mike Dawson? I don't know. I don't think so. Damn. Um, I hate to see it. In the sequel, which Mike Dawson wasn't involved in at all, he is still... Uh, the main character is still Mike Dawson, even though the real Mike Dawson didn't help with the, the game. Walls seem hollow here. Uh, and they made him a super, like a turbo weenie. It's very funny. <laughs> Man, I could, I couldn't even imagine what that would feel like. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I don't know if they just hated him or what, but yeah. It was time to go explore our attic. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Why would you buy this house? Look at the windows! <laughs> yeah, like some serial killer is just gonna crawl in or something. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the story devolved into that, you know? Like, oh, there's a killer. Just like Clock Tower. I've already read this paper. Yeah. Dog. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Oh, All right, get ready for this trunk. I hate this thing. Trying. It's really tight. As you can see, for some reason, it's blocking our way to the balcony. Um, we just oh. need to keep clicking on. We just need to keep clicking on this thing to move it. I, I feel like you yeah. could have got this done in one click. No, we must do it very realistically. It's not like Mike Dawson can climb over that chest either. Like... Also. Pay very attention to where my cursor is moving. That's a watch right there. <laughs> oh god. What? Yeah. What? It blends it blends in. Um so yeah, after you wind it, you can tell the time, which is very useful in a time-based game. Oh god. Uh so what I think we I believe we wake up at up here. I want to say it's like but 9 every morning like and Mike Dawson will automatically day. go to bed wherever he is at 10 p.m. and I'm 95% sure that if you go to bed this I is a wooden I actually don't remember this off the top of my head but I feel like it's true if if you reach 10 p.m. and you're not in your bedroom I think it's just a game over <laughs> because That's you fall gargoyle. asleep wherever you are and then just die <laughs> <laughs> Just like real life 
<laughs> yeah. Well, you do have an alien embedded in your head that was put there by a giant weird penis machine, so you know. Yeah. Yeah, just like real life. At least. I mean, All right, so let's, don't you remember when it happened to you? <laughs> repelled oh, down God. the side of our house like a normal person. Why? Heavy twine rope. Uh, because we're we're sequence breaking. We did a puzzle early. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is this a speed run? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Distracted. Reminds me of my last garage. At least we got a free shitty car. There's the trunk of the car. Yeah. And cobwebs and broken windows all over here, too. I now feel like that car is a little a big. Item, if it were properly restored. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's been used lately. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to process the fact that, like, in an alternate timeline, like, this guy could have been my professor. <laughs> <laughs> the the geography checks out, you know. I wonder. How, I legitimately wonder how much he talks about making this game, like during his courses. Um, right. It'd like, be interesting hey to guys, find that out. Look at my video game that I made with my OC. <laughs> Do not steal me. Old, but I think it could uh, still be made to run. Based on a true story. Yeah. A bunch of names in this game, actually, too. If you look in the opening credits, like, they're very recognizable. Um, like, uh, everyone uh, kind of inserted themselves in this game. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. God. Yeah, some of the music in this game is interesting. I mean, I know yeah, it's a I, I don't hate the soundtrack. I think... I think it was like the track on the balcony that was a little repetitive. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's some repetitive songs in here for sure. Yeah. It, it just <laughs> repel up the side of our house <laughs> like a normal human being. Mm hmm. Mike Dawson, normal man. Yeah, the chimes in this song is, uh. Mm. Yeah, it's a little I can, much. I can feel myself going mad already. So thank god we got that crowbar from our trunk. Now we can open this Zelda chest. Da -na -na -na. Uh, uh. I'm That's trying rack. to... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, diary time. Are you ready for some Resident Evil notes? Yeah, oh hell yeah. You Takes a little it. bit to load. There we go. Oh god. So the previous... O Owner had headaches too. Who are these ancients? Oh god. Yeah. The lore? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So something about a mirror and ancients and another side. Yeah. Yeah, the mirror world, you know? Classic yeah. storytelling trope. Uh. <sighs> Did you know the common writer Yuki, who which has a mirror world, is coming out <laughs> next for it? No, anyways. <laughs> um. Well, we looked at the diary. That's that's interesting. Let's go climb down our attic ladder again. Oh, there's the doorbell. Oh boy, I wonder who that could be. Is it another weird child? Uh. Oh, it's a calm neighborhood. Uh. It's the newspaper. My house seems somehow wow. out of time. A relic of a dark past. Or perhaps a dark perhaps future. Perhaps a dark <laughs> future. <laughs> wow, that's deep, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Crime. Also, I think that day in the top night. says October 21st, so, you know, this happened in, re like, 30 years ago in real life. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. This is all true. Oh, God. Man, I this just also... realized, like, if this guy is a professor, like, the students must be creating some insane memes of him during <laughs> class. Like... Oh, for sure. <laughs> it doesn't help when you look him up to research him, like it's all about this game and people making fun of it, so... <laughs> God... 
I couldn't. Again, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> yeah. So we can go through those bushes to get to the other side of our house that leads to our garage and the rope. Uh, or we could go into town. Strangely empty and oh. I gotta say, I don't think this is a this is a nice shot. There's some cinematography to this game. In some versions of the game on that yeah. big tree there, there's a little squirrel, but not on this one, unfortunately. I believe this is yeah. the most updated version, but it is missing some like weird little quiet. animation quirk sometimes like that, which is weird. Yeah, like what what do these people have against squirrels? Like, what's up with that? Clug's food market. Uh, Clug is the last name also of someone who was involved with the creation well, of this game. General store with a I little see. bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. <laughs> that line is just so <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. Though it has been polished for hours. <laughs> Mike There's Dawson continuing to asserts that he is indeed a normal human man. <laughs> yeah. He's trying a little too hard to to fit into that writer thing that <laughs> the instruction manual talked about. <laughs> Yeah. Also, like I a mean, normal human being, we pay up front and then grab the thing we need from the store. Mr. Dawson. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, now I'm convinced that it's not even Mike Dawson controlling it, but it's the thing in his head. You know, like yeah. he's, he's already gone. Mine. I'm your neighbor, Delbert. Why don't we get together tomorrow? I'll meet you outside your place at six. Delbert. Writer, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think that name had to sit in. Why don't you take one of my cards? Delbert. There we go. We made friends that with is... the lawyer. Oh. We gotta meet him tomorrow at 6. Alright. I can't get over Dilbert. Like, this is too similar to Dilbert. Like, I, yeah, I can't it's mentally really... process it. <laughs> Alright, hey look, he's a lawyer. You get a get out of jail free card. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just call it that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, I wish more attorneys were free in this country. There we go. Alright, are we going to police? No, no. Nope, not don't. yet. Later. Nope. Later, later, All right. later. All right. Uh, also, another thing missing in this game. Uh, this version of the game, in older versions, when you went by on the screen, they used to play an animation of a dog walking by and then peeing on the fire hydrant. Oh. <laughs> an old oh. library. Could you pet a the dog in Darkseed? No. You're already off damn. screen by the time the dog shows up. It was really weird. That's I understand why they got rid of it, but it also kind of diminishes the character. The water yeah. feels so cool and refreshing. A little fountain. Drink your water, everyone. Yeah. This room reminds me of my study, full of leather-bound books. Humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my study. I'm a writer. Totally normal. Woman. She doesn't God. seem to notice me staring at her. Yep. Mm. These old so it's like, oh hey, I should probably oh, talk God. to her. Let's try using... Oh yeah, and there's a hairpin on the ground. Did you notice it? Because I didn't the first time I played this game. I would have thought that was just an ant or something. Fuck. That would be very annoying. The sort of thing your former co-worker Larry would have tried. I just wanted to talk to her, Christ game. I used the use... I did the, like, touch or use command on her, because there's no talk, like, thing. Oh. Oh. This card really should be kept with the book. Ooh, Ooh that's shit that movement. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's the one with the green cover. Also, she must have some in her eyes. Right? Oh, God. Yeah, I can see how this was kind of a graphical marvel back in the day, but oh boy, there some of these effects. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to really investigate here, sadly, so we're just gonna go to aisle C and find uh -huh. the big green book. The rows of books book. in the library stacks all look Why do we need a green book? Uh, we don't know. We just have a library card, and she told us to go find the green book that it belonged to. I don't see oh. anything. And, in, and inside was a piece of paper. Okay. Hell. <laughs> You can't be stressed enough. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I know I'm doomed. Oh god. Da, 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 da. Tuttle? Old man Tuttle. 
Yeah. What a joker. He grabbed the key to my clock and swallowed it. What a joker. <laughs> and then he died of a stroke a week later. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to dig up a dead body? Is that, are we going grave robbing? <laughs> so, uh, we, we found out the, the way to get into his mausoleum is to press left, above, and right on some sort of contraptions. <laughs> Let's go investigate the rest of the neighborhood, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. The bi librarian that I can't talk bi. to like a normal human being. Yeah. Because I am normal and you are not, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Man, I wish I could get my hair chopped off for six bucks. Holy shit. Inflation. Okay. Yeah! Really fucked up. This town looks naturally quiet. This reminds me, you know that shot at the start of Silent Hill 2 where you're walking through the fog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like that. God. Anyways, we never saw what was uh, left of the house. Yeah, let's let's go past the chocolate-looking doors um, yeah. to the garage. I could go for some Kit Kats. Same. It's almost Halloween. Go out and get some candy. Yeah. Like, buy it. I, I'm not telling you to go trick-or-treat. That would be weird. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Like... <laughs> Oh, hey, also, a good thing that we bought our house next to the fucking cemetery that's <laughs> decrepit. I, I, I thought it was just misspelled and not the Y being, like, yeah. you know, off, so like I was no a little confused there. For a long time. There's no name on this stone. That's oh, weird. Boy, this, the stone feels rough this music, though. So it yeah. Just recently been chiseled. I... I would. I don't know how to describe this instrument. The stone is very worn, <laughs> like, like it's been here for centuries. <laughs> this is what I would imagine the sound of bees farting would be like. Yes. <laughs> Harcourt Benton Mud. He was no tribble at all. J T K. J T K. He's dead. Shlomo. Rest in peace. Don't disturb. <laughs> John Campbell. Here lies a man who saw John beyond Campbell. times horizon. Where have I heard that name before? Get back. Yeah. You're on hallowed ground. Sometimes they just bring this woman in to do some voiceover too. It's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> is it plot relevant or is it just? No, I'm just doing this because I think it was fun. I can't touch that. Have I no respect okay. no, Remember I that line. <laughs> oh god. Bobby Jacobs. Never thought you'd end up here, did you? What a dick thing to say! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> had some real beef of These that guy, Jesus. Symbols covering this mausoleum. For some reason, our good friend I'm Tuttle has this huge-ass Egyptian. Egyptian mausoleum. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I don't feel like architecture works that way if this is, like, the U.S. It worked. And Maybe. now we, we knew the secret passcode to get in, which was just going in, like, fucking clockwise order from left to right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Feels like a it's cold fine. Just hit me. Very secure. Or just my nerves? Yeah. The names on these caskets What's have faded away with time. I guess the caskets have been sealed shut to preserve freshness. Yes, freshness. Freshness. As these if we need to open the these mausoleum. later. Yeah. Like a refrigerator. Well, just you wait. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, hey, urns. Whose ashes are Joe in here? Tuttle, beloved Butcher. Joe Tuttle. Julia Tuttle. Beloved Mother. Aw, oh, the Tuttles. Leonard Tuttle. Beloved son. Oh, the Tuttles. Gary Tuttle, beloved cousin. Patrick Tuttle, beloved. It's all grandson. Tuttles. It's all Tuttles. John Tuttle, beloved. All the way all down. Twin. <laughs> There's a clock key among. There's the a ashes. clock key in the ashes. There we go. We got the clock key. I already played with these ashes. He already played with. <laughs> I these played ashes. with these ashes. 
<laughs> Anyways, let's play with the rest. Great. Now I have Ma Julia's ashes all over. <laughs> Great. Now I have Leonard all over me. Oh, Remember Metal Gear Solid Great. 5, the ashes? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> You're, all You're all tunnels, tunnels to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure the perspective would not look like this. Like... Oh, absolutely I not. I can barely oh. see my house from here. Man. Mike Dawson. Very normal. Extremely normal. Here. <laughs> oh, God. But now that we're covered in our neighbor's ashes of his whole clan, let's, let's go back to our place. <laughs> <laughs> the blood of the Tuttle family is on your hands, Mike Dawson. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you this isn't the first time we do grave robbing in this game? I mean, I believe it. <laughs> this seems like that kind of game. <laughs> it's 3.16 p.m. There's another part of the uh, cemetery we can go to, but we don't need to go there till later. Oh, that's a oh the building is named Tuttle. Okay, I didn't notice that earlier. <laughs> yeah, it is Tuttle. The family name on the mausoleum. <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> so, students, um, let me tell you about the time that I went grave robbing. Um, <laughs> yeah. This will be that on part of quiz. the game was based on a true story. Yeah, see, like grave robbing, that was big, big hobby back in my day. Um, oh god. So, what's the next call? <laughs> Uh, so now we gotta go back home, and you know, it's been a while since we went back to our place. Let's just check it out a little bit more. Right. Alright. Back at it again. Yep. The phone is ringing. Oh, who could it be? Is it a telemarketer? Did they deal with that back in the day? Hello? Uh, Hello, Mike. This is Sue at the library. We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime. Didn't even say bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I can't talk to this person. <laughs> uh, uh, Sometimes Mike he doubles Dawson. back around little, when you, like... Yeah, a little <laughs> confused there. Yeah. I mean, it's his first day in the new place. <laughs> He's a little confused. First day in the new place, aka this body, you know? Um. Yeah. There's a <laughs> lot of walking across town in this game. Like, we literally we literally just, like, went back to our house to get a phone call, and now I have to go all the way back to the library on the opposite end of the <laughs> map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That checks out. I can believe that. <clears throat> The, the second of game fast added travel. a fast. Tra the second game has fast <gasps> travel. Believe it or not. Oh, that's surprising. <laughs> it's less so fast travel as it is that all of the areas aren't interconnected so much as like there are a bunch of different groups of areas that you access from a map when you leave one. But uh, we'll have I to see. we'll have to check in on Mike Dawson in the sequel one time. It's much longer, but uh, it is a beautiful work of art. <laughs> I for can all the wrong reasons. only imagine. <laughs> Alright, so let's go talk to her again. We have Please. to load our conversation. Uh, attention. Hi, Here's the book that was put on hold for you. Uh, what's it say? Well, that don't matter. Because what really matters is this. Uh, Tune into the right station for a dependable word from a concerned friend. I don't know what that picture was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is a hint to turn on the car radio at the right time, but I forgot to do that until after its hint becomes like... 
relevant. So <laughs> we'll kind of see that out of order. Yeah. I mean, that checks out. So, haircut? Yeah. No. We, we never get to go into the barber in this game. Tragedy. Damn. You, you can't just do that, putting a barber in your video game and not being able to get a haircut? What the fuck? Yeah, it's messed up. No, we gotta spend our money on scotch. <laughs> yeah, I mean... And piss off our that's... alcoholic lawyer neighbor Del Delbert. <laughs> not Dilbert, Delbert. <laughs> Delbert, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the Mike Dawson way. I don't know this man, but that sounds about right. Yeah. Suspense. Yeah. What time is it? 4.17. We got a little under six hours. Time Damn. to check out the living room. We haven't been in here yet. That's a chilly draft yeah. flowing through this decrepit old living room. Hey, look, uh, the fucking Xenomorph I'm from Alien is on the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> An old velveteen couch. I guess there is a way to use that artwork. A masterpiece yep. of the macabre. Its eyes follow me relentlessly. This picture yeah. is very alien. Ah, uh, see what they did there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, writers, who use subtlety. Ancient, <laughs> endless tempo. There appears to be a plaque inside, but I can't make out what it says. Well, good thing we got the key from the ashes. Now we can read the plaque in our clock. Oh, oh God. Yeah, this is like classic, like <laughs> point and click design. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known to connect a key from like the fucking graveyard to this oh, clock. Well, the the note, uh, the note we got from the one of the previous notes we got said, "Oh, I can't open my clock anymore because old man Tuttle ate the, the clock key." Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah, there's so many. Yeah, no, there's, there's so lot, many things. There's a going lot to juggle in this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our mirrors, our mirror is broken, sadly. I see. Oh god. Yeah, like I feel like with all the information and the time limit on this game, like I probably wouldn't have been able to get through this. Like. Yeah, a, a lot of, I think even at the time, people said that it was a little much to have to juggle everything at once. Like, adventure games can already be, like, take a long time to beat because of how ridiculously complex and, like, Byzantine the fucking puzzles can get. And, um, yeah, to mix that with, like, a hard time limit you have before automatic game over and you just have to restart the whole thing, it's a lot. Yeah. Like, uh, it's interesting, but definitely not something I would probably get Yeah, from. I, Cyber Dreams was a company that I, I feel like their development team was very ambitious, but not, uh, did not always have the, the skill and finesse they needed to, uh, bring their vision to life in a, in I the way that probably their ideas deserved. So, yeah. yeah, we're done for the day, so now we just have to wait time passing damn nothing else you can possibly do huh no I'm sleepy i think i will go to bed now i just imagine that mike dawson like when <laughs> when the day is up you know just stands in his room for like five hours <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's gonna happen it's so spooky Who's that shadow? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I'm so scared! Oh god! 